All praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, which is the Paleo Hebrew for the name of the Heavenly Father, the Ancient of Days, the Creator of all energy, being Yahweh, and that of His Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, being Yahweh Shai. Those be the only names in which salvation may be obtained, whether you have been given the Spirit to receive that or not. I'd like to give double honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone who through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai rule all of the nation of Israel well today. Once again, whether you've been given the spirit to receive that or not, and peace, love, blessings, salutations be unto the elect of the nation of Israel, beginning with the 140 and 4,000 prophets all the way down to the one-third men, women, and children who are truly able to receive the glorious light of this gospel, man. Okay? Coming into the understanding that there is only one way for our people to be redeemed, man. Which through our redemption, okay, and when I say our, I'm speaking of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, man, who have been removed from their place of power and put on the bottom place of the earth, man, scattered amongst the nations, all right, and cons uh, consistent of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, all right? You have Israelites of the whole planet earth whose seed goes back to being those people, man. We are the inheritors of the planet, and the whole planet earth is upside down because it's been given into the hand of the wicked. All right, this wicked, wicked beast system that governs over the planet Earth, man. All right, the same system that was being spoken of here in the book of the Acts, man. All right, as you see, we got pulled up. But you see, through our redemption, man, the whole planet Earth will be healed. The whole planet Earth will be made to flourish, man. Okay? But again, there's only one way. We have all these different examples. I'm going to play a video, man. You know, Lord willing to be edifying unto the elect. Lord willing they don't take down the, you know, give me a strike or something for, uh, you know, posting it up, man. But I'm going to go ahead and just play it anyway um, here in a second. And it's going to be, uh, uh, you know, it's a, it's a perfect example of these organizations and these things of the world, man, not bringing forth anything but vanities. You see? We have all these different examples such as Che Guevara, Nat Turner, Emiliano Zapata, man, what, what did they do for our people, man? Not a damn thing, you see? Nobody is going to overcome the self-proclaimed white man or this wicked beast system of his except for one, man. All right? And that's what we're going to go ahead and get into, man. All this other stuff is vain, man. All this other stuff is pointless, man. We only have one way that we are going to be healed as a people. All right, well, with that, I'm going to go ahead and read this real quick. Actually, I'm going to grab a quick precept, man. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 5, and verse 5. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold. Actually, I'm going to go, I'm going to go up, man. Uh, this is uh, Revelation 5 and 2. It says, And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and loose the seals thereof? Right? Who's able to, to, to break down this truth within the scriptures, man? All right, which, which, which in that happening, all right, life will return to the elect of the nation of Israel. And through the elect of the nation of Israel being delivered, the whole planet Earth will be made to flourish, man. Order reestablished here on the planet Earth, man. Theocracy established, you see? But that will not happen. All right, our redemption, our salvation will not happen unless somebody's able to, to, to take this book all right, and loose these seals, man. All right, going on, it says, verse 4, And I wept much because, uh, so like in verse 3, it says, And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. So not even were they able to open it, man, but they weren't even able to look at it, man. You see, we needed a, 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 a king, man. We needed a Messiah, man, a savior. In ancient times, we got Joshua. You see? And now we have another savior, man. You see? The savior who's going to bring the final victory over this beast, man. Okay? Let's go ahead and go on. It says, <clears throat> verse 5, it says, And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book. And to loose the seven seals thereof, you see, the lion of the tribe of Judah, man, okay, which was prophesied throughout the whole scripture. You see, the Savior, all right, this, this, this uh, uh, seed coming out of the line of Judah, 
all right, this particular Savior, man, all right, would, would, would come forth and bring salvation to the nation of Israel, man. Bring redemption to the nation of Israel, all right? Not, not any other way other than what the prophecy says, man. You see? Who is Yahweh Shai Hamashayag, man? You see? The Messiah whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, even though the letter J was brought about in the 16th century, man. All right, you see? The, the, the seals of this book are being broken, man. Now the truth is being made to flourish here on the planet Earth. That's why you're seeing all these different camps and what have you spring forth throughout all these different countries, uh, cities, and states, man. Any, to anywhere you have a major city, all right, you're going to have Israelites over there, man, who, who, who are in the truth and who are prophesying and telling you of these things to come, man. All right, because why? Because the lion of the tribe of Judah, as we just read, was able to loose these seals, man. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and jump back to Acts chapter 5 and verse uh, 38, and then we'll uh, go ahead and play this uh, video, man. It says, Acts chapter 5 and 38, and now I say unto you, refrain from these men, you see? And this is what, this is what the, actually, you know what, man, I'm going to go ahead and move up to verse uh, 35. It says, and said unto them, ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as touching these men. Okay, so take heed and pay attention to, to you know, what you're doing, all right, to what they were doing at this time to the, uh, uh, you know, to the, to the body, man, all right, to, to, to the church, to those who are in the truth, man, the Israelites, you see. As I said, you have all these different Israelite camps popping up throughout the city, all right, and, and what Esau had done in ancient times, is they put hands on us, man, and that's what they're getting ready to do again. Well, once again, we are going to have a, a, a way out, man. You see, we're going to be delivered through it. All right, all these other different groups and organizations out there, man, the Black Panthers, the Brown Berets, anytime Esau put hands on them, they, they were destroyed, man. You see, they were removed. You see, and nothing to show forth of what they had other than a few rap songs, man. You see, let's go ahead and move on, because this is the same exact story that's, that's being uh, spoken of here, man. Acts 5 and verse uh, uh, 30, uh, 36, it says, For before these days rose up, Theudas, boasting himself to be somebody to whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves. So you had this particular Israelite got up, you see, being oppressed by the goddamn, this, this wicked white man, man, his beast system, you see, rose up and, and started what, man? A, 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 you know, a, a revolutionary organization, you see? And let's, let's see what happened to this guy, man, and, and to his group. It says... <clears throat> Uh, who was slain. You see that, man? He was killed. He was put to death, man. Guess who saved him? Not nobody, man. He couldn't save himself, so how would he save his followers, man? Let's go ahead and move on. It says, <clears throat> who was slain and all, as many as obeyed him, were scattered and brought to not, brought to nothing, man. His whole movement, his whole organization. That's why the, the only place where you could find anything about this, this uh, uh, revolutionary group that got up and put their lives up for this simple-ass name of their, their revolution they were pushing for, all right? The only place where you could, where this, this, this could be found is within this, this, uh, uh, scripture right here, man. You can actually go and look up and find, you know, where Theudas and, you know, his group of rebels got up and, uh, 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 went and challenged Esau other than right here because he came to not, man. This is the only, uh, the only place where you could find, uh, uh, where, where any mark was made by them, man. <laughs> and is in the breakdown of them being made nothing. You see? Let's go ahead and move on, man. Verse uh, 36, it says, For before these days, uh, it's like verse 37, after this man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of taxing. You see, so, so Jake was getting taxed. And when you, when you study, man, what, what, what Esau was doing, Esau is fucking wicked, man. He's always pushed usury upon our people. You see, go and, and proclaim a land to be theirs and then tax the hell out of you, man. Make you pay for water, make you pay for wood. You see, make you pay to live, man. You see, uh, all you are is a, 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 a reoccurring payment for Esau, man. That's all you are. All right? And that's why the book of Micah 2 and 10 says, Depart for this is not your rest, man. This place is destroyed, man. To hell with this place, man. Our kingdom is coming, man. And our kingdom is going to be that everlasting kingdom, man. The war to end all wars is coming, man. The redemption of our people. The only way that it's going to come. You see? So, so you have... Uh, uh, you know, the people being taxed here, you know, in the time of Judas. And again, man, something that they would do when you study what the Grecians were doing, man, they would go and they would 
they would uh, 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 not tax the Greeks, or they would, they would you know, hit them with a light tax, and then all the people of that land, so to speak, if it was the land of Egypt, all right, then they would uh, tax the Egyptians twice as much. You see, or they would tax our people, the Israelites, uh, uh, twice as much, man. But they had any Grecians up in that area, guess what? They was, they was, they was uh, uh, walking by scot-free, man. You see, so of course this is going to rub uh, uh, Jake the wrong way, man. All right, and, and what do they do, being niggas? Look to the flesh to redeem them, man. Verse 37, after, th after this man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of the taxing and drew away much people after him, he also perished and all, even as many as obeyed him were, di were dispersed. Verse 38, and now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of God, ye cannot overthrow it, lest happily ye be found even to fight against God, man. And all these foundations out here, any foundation that you have, including ours, you see, including the foundation of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is going to be tried, man. And the only one that is over gonna the only one that's gonna overcome and prevail are those that are written in the book of life, man. Those that are able to look upon those seals that were broken by Yahweh Shai, man. The only way through, you see, according to the prophecies, man. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab another preset, man, and then I'm, I think I'm gonna end the lesson with playing the video. So, you know, but but yeah, man, you'll see a perfect example of this group of Jake, man. And really, when I watch the video, man, it, it pissed me off, man. You see, Esau is really over here walking around scot-free after they murdered children and did these things to this group of, of peaceful, uh, uh, you know, uh, protesters, man. This group of peaceful, uh, peaceful revolutionaries, man. You see what shows you, man. Esau, Esau is about to come down with this hammer, man. All you hands up, don't shoot, man. All you different organizations out there who, who don't have the foundation of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai are going to die, man. You see? And you're going to die in vain just like this group that we're about to, we're about to uh, uh, play this video on, man. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab another precept real quick out of Isaiah. <coughs> see chapter uh, 30 and verse I'll just start at verse 7 man all right it says uh, uh, Isaiah 30 and 7 it's like it. uh, Jeremiah is what I meant to grab man Jeremiah 30 and 7 and it reads alas for that day is great so that none shall be like it it is even the time of Jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it, you see? The time of Drake, Jacob's trouble is coming, man. But guess what? Uh, uh, Jacob, the elect of the nation of Israel, they're going to be saved from it, man. You see, the scriptures tell you that they're going to take us and they're going to they're try us, man. They're going to go and they're going to take us into the courthouses. And the, and, and the scriptures say, man, to, to not even think about what you're going to say. You see, the Heavenly Father is going to put it within, within your spirit, man, to prophesy as we've been, you see? To say, to say things according to his will, man. Not, not according to our flesh, not according to our emotion, man. You see? So just give yourself over all, completely and utterly to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and he's going to get us out. You see? But all these different groups out there, man, you got, you got all these peons out today talking about don't wear your mask, don't take the, take the vaccination. Esau is about to roll up on him, and you have no foundation to stand upon that's going to deliver you, man. Just like the group that we're about to see the video, just like the two accounts that we just read about. You see? Let's go ahead and go on. Uh, uh, so, man, Jacob's trouble's coming, man. Because Esau is getting ready to drop the hammer on because, because his, his kingdom is over, man. All right. Verse 8, it says, For shall come to pass in that day, saith Yahweh of armies, that I will break the yoke from off his neck and will burst the bonds by bonds, and the strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. So, hey, man, that's, that's exactly what all these different revolutionary groups have fought for, man, right? You see our people to be liberated, man. The, the, the heathen to stop growing fat off of our labor, man. You see? And that's going to come along with Jacob's trouble, but yet only through Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. That's the only way this victory is going to be done. That's why when you go into the prophecies, it says it will no longer be said, the Lord liveth who brought us up out of the, la the, land, of Israel, uh, the land of Egypt, but him who brought us up out of the land of the north, man. You see? Because that first exodus, man, the, the Pharaoh was risen just to be destroyed to show the power in the Heavenly Father, man. You see? Now, how much more powerful is Esau today than Egypt was then? What, what, which one of these uh, groups, these revolutionary groups, do you think is actually going to overcome the Edomite? 
and it's beast system. This guy could just uh, uh, tell a drone to go and find your ass, man, and it'll go get you. So you see, the only way that we're going to be saved from this devil, man, all right, is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, as we're reading here, verse 9, it says, But they shall serve Yahweh their power, and David their king, who I will raise up unto them. You see that, man? David their king. Yahweh Shai, man. The root of Jesse. Going back into Isaiah 11, man. You see? The book of Luke, chapter 1, and verse... Uh, uh, 58 on down, man, the, the rejoicing that they had, all right, at the birth of Yahweh Shai and John the Baptist, knowing that this, this was that, that king, man. This was the savior who was going to finally save our people. You see? Again, man, that word salvation meaning deliverance from the molestation of thine enemies, man. The Romans was put had their hands upon us at that time, and Esau continues to have his hands upon us at this time, man. You see? Scriptures tell you that the Grecians were the Edomites, man. These same people, their same beast system, still oppressing our people, man. You see? But we know and understand, man, those of us that are in the truth, we know and understand that, hey, man, his time is over. And what we're seeing is prophecy being fulfilled, and finally the redemption of our people is, is near, man. All right, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and jump down, man, to verse... Uh, <clears throat> Verse 12, it says, For thus saith Yahweh, thy bruise is incurable, and thy wound is grievous. You see? Our bruise, our wickedness, man, is incurable, man. You see, our grievous wounds that we've made are incurable. Which is what, man? Us breaking that covenant that we had with the Heavenly Father. You see, Him giving us these oracles to establish on the planet Earth. We broke them and, and went and uh, uh, pledged allegiance to the heathen. All right? And now the whole planet Earth is, is, is in chaos. But you see the elect are getting right back in the eyes of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And the elect are going to be those who be healed, man. So see, even though it says that bruise is incurable, that shows you how far we are beyond the point of redemption, man. But still through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, we are going to be redeemed, man. All right. Let's go ahead and, and move on. Verse 13, it says, there is none to plead thy cause, thou, thou may, that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicine. So, hey, man, there ain't no remedy for the nation of Israel, man. Ain't none of these different groups out there is going to save you. Ain't nothing out there, no, no book is that, 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 uh, that, that you read is going to inspire you other than, you know, other than the, the, these scriptures, man. All right? It's going to inspire you to be a whole new man. And, you know, all of a sudden you're, you're uh, uh, you know, receiving the, the, the fatness of the earth. And no, man. There's only one way out of here, man. Esau has got to be removed. Peace cannot come unless the serpent is removed, man. You see, and who's going to remove the serpent? So we go to Isaiah 53, man. Isaiah 53 and 1 on down, you see. Only Yahweh Shai. You know what? We'll go ahead and grab that too, man. Let's go ahead and hit this verse uh, 15. It says, uh, uh, uh. Now, why criest thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable. You see? Our wickedness, our sorrow is incurable, man. Why are we crying? You see? We were the ones that led us into this state. For the multitude of thine iniquity, because thy sins were increased, I have done these things unto thee. You see? Because of our sins, man. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. You see that, man? But he's going to have mercy on us, man. He's going to save us again through Yahweh Shai. You see? Yahweh Shai was that... that uh, came forth and his blood was spilt in order to redeem the sins of the elect because the heavenly father requires blood at transgression man all right now that blood of yahweh shai because he walked perfect in the flesh at that time atones for the sins of the elect so the elect are not going to be destroyed upon this destruction man the elect are going to be redeemed you see <clears throat> it says uh Thy sorrow is incurable, or it's like verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all they that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Let me go ahead and jump to, uh, what was it, man, Isaiah. Chapter 53. It's locking, not, not 53. 
63. And verse 3, it says, I have trodden the winepress alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in mine anger. You see that, man? He will tread them in his anger, being Esau, and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. You see? Because if, if, if Yahweh is a king, man, he's coming back to reign. The first people to get to, to, to that need removed, all right, or the main people that need removed is what? Those who are in rulership, man. Who's what? That beast system. That's why he says he's coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra, man. You see, his garments will be stained with their blood. Verse 4, it says, For the days of vengeance are in mine heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. You see, the year of his redeem, man. Finally, us being redeemed, man. The day of vengeance, man. When you see this video, it's going to be vengeance for that as well, man. Vengeance for Emmett Till. Vengeance for all the things that they hid. They ain't getting away with nothing, man. They ain't getting away with a damn thing, man. All right, and those are light things compared to <sighs> vengeance for Yahweh Shai, man. Vengeance for his blood. You see? Being given over in the hands of the self-proclaimed white man so they could fuck him up, man. Vengeance is coming, man. All right? And what did it say? That he's trod in the wine press alone, man. He is the only one to come and save us. It ain't going to be Yahweh Shai and, 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 and Tupac. It ain't going to be Yahweh Shai and, and, and any, other, any other dude, man. You see? Salvation is coming from Yahweh through Yahweh Shai, man. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and play this video, man. I'm going to say all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. No honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone and peace, love, blessings, salutations unto the elect. They wear their hair in dreadlocks because they reject combs as symbols of industrialization, which their back to nature philosophy opposes. Their basic goal is to overthrow the present system of government, which they consider to be corrupt. People thought move was crazy at that time because of the media. They spew out obscenities when they talk. Terrible language. Rizzo said that he wanted to move out of Philadelphia. It's amazing that this group has been running loose now for a half a dozen, a couple, three, four years that I know of, and they should have been in prison many, many months ago. We moved into Osage Avenue because that was our headquarters. It was warm and loving. There was children there. We would take them to the park. That was mainly our day. Some people said we was on the loudspeaker day and night every day. That was just a lie. Probably promulgated by the police along with the media. We were getting along with our neighbors and nothing was going on. That's why we were surprised and shocked when hundreds of cops invaded our area trying to throw move out of our home. And this was on Sunday. Mother's Day. There is a small war underway on a street in Philadelphia tonight. It has been going on all day between hundreds of Philadelphia police and a bizarre back to nature group called Move. Nothing happened all day, but that night, Gregor Sambor, the police commissioner, got on a loudspeaker and said, attention move, this is America. You have 15 minutes to come out. Well, obviously, we didn't come out because we knew they wanted to kill us. They didn't want to arrest us. They could have done that any time. It was shortly before 6 a.m. when police moved in with tear gas and water cannon to evict members of the extremist group MOVE. When we were in the basement for a while, we didn't feel anything. And then the water started coming down on us. I mean, rushing down on us. What we intended to do was to create a diversion on the roof of the MOVE compound. It was hard to breathe. Our children were soaking wet. And then they started with the tear gas. Tear gas started coming in. We got the blankets and they was wet and we put them over our heads and started laying down. They blew 
a hole in the house to the left of us to try to come through it to come after us. What we wanted them to do was to come out of the front of 6221 Osage and surrender. We tried to get out after that. We tried to bring the kids out and we shot back into the house. A gun battle erupted. They shot over 10,000 bullets. So that was their intent to kill everybody in that house. I don't think that they should kill the people and their babies. They should find another solution. After that, that's when the silence was. It was a long interval of silence, and we didn't know what they were doing. We felt comfortable for a minute. And then the bomb was dropped. The house shook. It shook. And then we start feeling the heat and the smoke, which we knew wasn't tear gas. We knew there was a fire in the house. We heard the crackling of the trees that was in back of Osage. The night skies over West Philadelphia, bright with flames. As many as 60 buildings may be on fire. I was told and I saw newspaper issues about people yelling to the firefighters to put the fire out. Why wasn't they putting the fire out? They dropped the bomb on the house. It's taking one move family. One move out. They didn't burn up two blocks. Explain that. It was all in the newspaper that Sam Bohr told the fire commissioner to let the fire burn. The fire burned for an hour and a half before police called in firefighters. Tonight, it is unknown exactly how many MOVE members may have escaped the blaze or how many, perhaps, were trapped inside. We all decided we was coming out and we were bringing the children out of the house and hollering to the police, we're coming out, we're bringing the children out. And their response was gunshots. Birdie was right behind me. So when I decided to come out, I grabbed him. And that's how we both got out of that house, that blazing inferno. Police grabbed me and arrested me and put handcuffs on my arms, even though I was burnt. And they grabbed Birdie and put him in a police van and took him away. I never saw him again. In the hospital, I was looking for the rest of my family to come in, and nobody came in behind me, and that's when I knew some of my family, at least, were dead. Philadelphia police this morning continue searching for more bodies in the burned rubble of a West Philadelphia neighborhood. One by one, four bodies of MOVE members were found in the rubble of their fortress home. The toll now higher than most had expected. Five children and six adults. Nobody was ever arrested for the murder of my family. Nobody went to jail but me. I was arrested. I was the only one put on trial for arson, conspiracy, everything that they did. They charged me with. The jury found me guilty. I was sentenced to 16 months to seven years. So I did the whole seven years. I haven't been back to Osage Avenue since May 13th of 85. It was 61 or so houses burnt. It was damaged to the core. The people that lived on there took a while to come back. Some of them never came back. City taxpayers spent $33 million to rebuild the houses. The homes that was rebuilt, they had sinking foundations. They got leaky roofs. The electricity was messed up. They looked like project houses. 
today I still have the burn scars from May 13th of 85 and some people have told me you should get cosmetic surgery they can take that off and I'm saying why would I want to take it off I want to be reminded our significance today is the consistent example of move keep fighting no matter what because people can look at move and say i don't want to be in jail for 30 or 40 years i don't want to die i don't want to have a bomb dropped on me but the thing is you can die any day of the week in this country being killed by police people ought to take the lesson from me and stand up for what is right as long as we can fight we're going to fight hey and there you have it man i'll put the link for the uh for this video in the uh you know in the uh uh description box of uh you know of, of, of uh, the video that you're watching man and you know, just, just what, what does she say, man, that, that uh, you know, we'll keep fighting, you see, and, you know, the, the, that, that, you know, take the lesson that's learned from it. The lesson that's learned here, clearly, as brothers have seen through the spirit, through the, through the prophecies and what have you, all right, is that move did not change a thing. Move has been destroyed and even forgotten, man. The only way to be delivered the only thing that is going to change anything and is going to stand sure and be delivered is yahweh by shim yahushai man the foundation of yahweh by shim yahushai and with that all praises honor and glory once again be into yahweh by shim yahushai by shimmer kakwadash double honors unto the elders and the apostles at gms great millstone and peace love blessing salutations unto the elect shalom